months away from Anaheim one? A little bit less than two months. Something like that. I feel like it's right on schedule. Uh, this off season's always that tough line to walk because you know you want to be fast, but you don't want to, I don't know, make dumb mistakes. Now it's November still, so even though it feels like a long time, it's really not. You know, it's gonna be here before we know it. So you didn't do any off season races, or you're not doing any? What's the strategy behind that versus doing them? Ah, uh, for. For me and the team also, I think everyone just felt like it was best for me to get to know the bike, get to know the team, uh, and test. Unfortunately, the only, the only downfall of those overseas races is obviously, yeah, there's always risk for possibly getting hurt. But, I mean, you can do that by crossing the street. So I've never thought that way. But you miss out on a lot of testing. You can get sick and stuff like that. So it does set you back. You, if you go in there for a week, it's actually two weeks. So uh, for me, it was just the best bet for the season was to be focused and be here. Was it hard to just watch Monster Cup? Did you want to be out the race? Yeah, yes and no, because I wasn't ready at that point either, though. So for me, it was hard to watch because I always want to be racing, but at the same time, I wasn't ready to go up there and battle. So I definitely don't want to go out there and, and ride around. Okay, so <clears throat> we first saw you on your Cali a couple months ago at Milestone, playing around, and you look real comfortable already. How close are you now to where you need to be for Anna? Uh, I don't know. You know, I feel like I'm I'm right on schedule to where I feel like I should be building. Uh, it's just it's like a scientific process. I feel like that we always go through every year. It's like this build up and level off and then ramp up right before Anaheim. So for me, it's I feel like I'm right on schedule. I'm, I'm comfy. Like you said, the bike wasn't hard to get used to at all. It was just uh, something that was easy to get comfy right away. So uh, for me, I'm right on schedule. Try and throw the thing around, throw some whips for you guys right now, and just uh, be ready. How different is your bike right now from when you first got on it? Uh, much, much different, yeah. Uh, we've just, uh, I mean, these guys test a lot. Uh, I've always tested a lot. Like, even on previous teams, we tested and tested. But uh, for me, the, the problem with these guys is I can't tell them it sucks when, they, when we test. It's, like, always better. So for me, I feel like I'm just telling them it's better all the time. But they seem to know the process and seem to know exactly what I'm looking for. So uh, how much do you hope to gain between now and Anaheim, or do you feel ready now? Uh, I mean, I always want to gain. There's always room for improvement, and uh, I'm chasing the number 18 all the time, so you're always kind of, he's always up in the ante. So for me, it's it's awesome. We get to feed off each other and train during the day on the dirt bikes and off the bikes. So for me, it's it's nothing better for me as far as building and, and seeing where I need to be. It's following him. It's uh, it's really setting the bar where I know I need to be because it's not like I'm at the track going, well, you know, my time seemed good. I, I know every day where I stand. So for me, it's... Uh, it's good. It's, it feels like we're feeding off each other pretty positively right now. Cool. Um, you got a lot of new things going on. This year. Oh, new bike, new gear, new look. Lots of new number. Some some dudes number. Uh, yeah, no, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, I was lucky enough to go over to the Tucker Rocky family. Uh, did some stuff with them in the off season anyway. Uh, actually, not during the during the season because I was hurt. I went to the Tucky Rocky Tucker Rocky dealer show. Um, got to experience that, got to meet a lot of the owners and everything like that. So for me, it was just, um, you know, we changed pretty much head to toe. I kept showy, I kept on zipper, but uh, for me, everything else was just new. And it was cool because I have a relationship with these people, and um, it's kind of my home base back there being in Texas and being around the, the Tucker family. So for me, it was really cool just to experience that whole deal and meet the guys and be like, okay, we can put a deal together.